Okay, let's see what happens. First, I'm going to practice my line work. Straight line parallels, turn the paper. Straight line parallels, turn the paper. Straight line parallels, turn the paper. You can see that I always have a controlled start and stop. The length of my lines, each set of them, and the spacing between each one, I try to control. I try to control everything. So my results, well, those are controlled too. And I have a good sense of being able to manage whatever I decide to do even if I'm not really sure. I guess most people would call this doodling. And while I'm doing it, I'm talking. It is good practice. I don't know that it's artwork, but it certainly engages my mind, my eye, and my hand. And it allows me to form connections, literal connections here on the paper, and connections within my body. Even connections helping me to make sense of all of this. Remembering that your two basic marks are your ovals and your straight line parallels. Just because it doesn't represent anything that you know doesn't mean that it isn't good or isn't fun and worthwhile doing. This is totally abstract. Well, really, non-representational. Funny though, even though it doesn't represent a darn thing, it seems to create a real space. Some parts seem near and some parts seem far away. Some parts seem big and some parts seem small. Some parts seem dark and some parts seem light. So if you ever need to pass a few minutes, test yourself with a doodle.